I never liked the idea that anyone who works in our office is part of a family. I think of it as a college. People come and go, they remain friends, they do different things. It's, it's the kind of brightness, intelligence and focus of people that makes them get what they want out of the office. Architects do an incredible amount of learning and they kind of think all those qualifications matter a great deal. We never really look at those qualifications. What we're interested in is the person and in a way a bit more background about where you came from, what interests you, where you went to school, things you do. So it, it, it's who they are and, and what they do that matters. Ultimately, we select people on initially on what we see of their work. So it's not their CV, it's actually just the block of work that we're sent. And then that conversation will be enriched by the CV. It's ultimately their talent that makes them stand out. I think the most crucial thing in an interview in that first meeting is to be alert, awake, um, energetic, but managed, controlled, disciplined. In our view, but the most important thing actually that distinguishes the portfolio now is, is difference. So actually it's, it's say hand drawing in some way or, or making rather than just being purely digital output. What medium we receive it in, paper, electronic, makes no odds. It's actually the content showing a greater variety of ways of looking at architecture, not obsessing with the technological formats. We don't really mind whether it's hand-drawn, uh, computerized, models, but it's that range that we're interested in. I would say architecture is a fabulous career. Make sure you you design your own career and choose what you're going to do. Don't just let you know, the need for money or whatever take you somewhere, but focus on your value. Don't underestimate your value to society.